Welcome back, Freedom Savers. Today, I want to talk about the stock market, of course. So, the stock market has had some down days recently, and everybody's speculating on whether the next recession is coming or the big crash. And other people who are smart enough to purchase stocks of good companies when the price is down or talk about buying the dip and all that good stuff. Here's my argument there is no dip. I don't feel that there's a dip in the stock market. We have clearly been in a great bull run for a long time now. And just because the price drops a little bit, it's not really a dip. I mean, I don't consider it a dip anyway. I, I consider a dip when the price drops to at least the same price it was a year prior. That's a dip, at least for me. If it just drops a little bit, that's just normal short-term volatility and doesn't really mean anything at all to me. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So people are talking about buying Microsoft on the dip. Or as the price dropped, they purchase stock and they think they're buying it low. I argue that they're not. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, Microsoft's a good company and I am buying it every single day. at I dollar cost average in. But I'm not buying the dip because I don't feel there is a dip. So you look at the five day period, oh look, there's a dip. That's five days, you know how short term that is? Month, same thing. So in order to be a dip, for me, it needs to be at least lower than it was a year ago, or at least the same price. And Microsoft is nowhere near that. Microsoft is over $25 higher than it was a year ago. It's over $72 more than it was five years ago. That's not a dip at all. Let's see if I can't find some other examples here. Let's go Apple. Oh, we're gonna buy Apple on the dip, right? Huge dip. Everybody's buying on the dip. Um, a year ago, it was at 169 and it's at 174. Okay, it, it's probably a valid dip. Over a five-year period, though, it's not really a dip at all because it was 71 bucks five years ago. It's $175 now. It's like 150% more than it was in a five-year period. And a five-year period is short time. So if you're looking at one year, then yeah, Apple's pretty much uh, kind of in a dip. But that's because of all the negative news going on with Apple right now. Um, let's see, who else can we look at? Um, let's look at J&J. &J. So J&J, &J, big dip, just like the rest of them, right? But over a year, it was 140 It's $5 higher than it was a year ago. And it's a lot higher in the five-year part, $88 to 145 It's not a dip. Still way ahead. Um, I just don't. I just don't consider these dips. Um, let's look at McCormick. Same thing, McCormick, way up there. Way up there in a year, as a matter of fact. But over the five days, dipped a month, dipped. I don't know, guys. I mean, if you're a long-term investor, this is short-term fluctuation. That's all it is. It's not even a buying opportunity more than dollar cost averaging into me. A buying opportunity is when that price drops to at least what it was a year prior. And in a five year, if it drops down to about half of what was, was five years ago on a good company like this, where it's constantly increased during our bull run, if it drops to a hundred, that's a dip. That's a buying opportunity, which would be about a year ago's price. So I just want to, to mention this, that don't, you know, if everybody's talking about the prices dropping and buy the dip and it's low, I agree with the strategy, buy the dips, guys, buy the, buy the stocks of good companies when the price is low. I totally agree with that strategy. I just don't agree that we've had a good dip. I'm sure you could find companies that have had a good dip, but I, most of those companies aren't good companies to invest in. Uh, I could think of a couple probably that I actually own. Maybe AT&T. 
in a one year period, it went from 36 to 30. That's that's down. That's a dip because it I don't know if it's a dip. It just dropped. Five year period, 33 to 30. Again, it's lower than it was. AT&T is just flat right now. It's just flat. And I think it's going to stay that way for a while until it gets that streaming service up and, and some other stuff. Let's see, another good one would be Ford. It goes nowhere either. It's always flat. So five years, it's lost money. It went from four, almost 15 bucks to nine. And from 12.61 to nine in one year. So is this a buying opportunity? If you have confidence in the company, sure, it probably is. But as you know, both of these companies have had a hard time lately. So a lot of people would argue that these are not good investments. Whereas a good investment to me is, let's look at good. So good a year ago, it's lower. Five years ago, it's about the same price. So that's a, that's considered a little more risky, but it's a good read is my opinion. Um, who else do I own? Let's go Northwest Natural. Northwest Natural, one year ago. Now, this is a utility, so it's going to be pretty flat. But over a five-year period, it's up quite a bit, not a dip. I don't know. I just I look at the, the big stocks that they're talking about, right? Microsoft and Apple. Um, who else? Amazon. Let's look at Amazon. All right. Amazon crashing by the dip right here, right? In a month, by the dip. Six-month period. Oh, by the dip. But in a year, that thing was gone from 1160 bucks to $1,700. So you're not really in a dip. And in five years, it's gone from $358 to 1700 Definitely not even close to a dip. So for me, I think I'm going to go with the definition of a dip when it's basically equivalent to what it was a year ago. Unless it's one of those companies that is just kind of flat, like Ford and AT&T, or even dropped. And those are questionable companies. Hence the reason I have both Ford and AT&T in my aggressive taxable income uh, portfolio. Because they are more risky stocks, even though they've been around forever. I just wanted to bring some reality to the stock market decline that we are supposedly in. Yes, it could go down. It could be a big recession. It could be a big crash. Hell, I hope it is. Stocks will be on sale for me. But this is short-term volatility. This is nothing but short-term volatility. There's lots of news going on, but there's always lots of news going on every single day. And it's a bunch of noise. So to me, this is just short-term volatility. This is not a dip that is a buying opportunity for the majority of these stocks especially the big named ones that everybody knows about and everybody's invested in. There are some stocks out there that may be a buying opportunity and that's for each of you to decide. So anyway, I just want, like I said, I just want to bring some realistic thinking to the overall view of the stock market right now and how it's declining. It seems like every time we have a bad day where the stock market goes into negative, for the day rather than the positive, then the news just fills up with the next recession, the next crash, or the stocks are down, or people all over YouTube or anywhere else, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy it low. Um, it's not low, guys. It's not low yet. <laughs> it, it's way higher than it was a year ago. That's not low. That's not a dip. If you're a long-term investor, you're thinking at least five years. All right, you're really thinking 10 plus. So you need to look at the five-year period and look at the one-year period. And if it's way up from one year, which is a very short time frame for a long-term investor, it's not really a dip. Anyway, just my opinion. Tell me what you think. Am I full of crap? Or do you guys really think these are buying opportunities and it's a big dip to buy into and all that? Um, me, I think it's just short-term volatility and people overreact as they always do in the stock market. It's very good entertainment for me. I see it day in and day out and I just sit back and I laugh. I find it very humorous. 
So anyway, that's all I want to talk about today, guys. I hope you're all doing great. Keep investing. Keep increasing your dividend income. Keep buying your freedom. Later, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you liked the video, hit that like button for me. Um, if you want to hear any specific type of information, anything that you're interested in, you have any questions, just drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know your opinions on this video or any other video I've made. And if you know anyone else that might be interested in this video, please be sure to share it on your social media and share the knowledge. Thanks, guys.